Hello everyone, welcome back to Waking Rapid Manufacturers channel. My name is TJ. A customer came to us with a design like this and asked us to give him a quotation for injection molding. After reviewing the design in 3D files, it is clear that this design may be suitable for CNC machining, but definitely not for injection molding. In my daily work, I often receive similar designs from engineers asking for injection molding suggestions. So today in this video, I'm going to share with you the initial vision of the DFM suggestions we gave this customer. And if you have a similar design, you will know what changes to make. First, wall thickness is the most important factor to consider when designing parts for injection molding. It must be as uniform as possible throughout the part. Different wall thickness will result in different shrinkage rate, causing parts to warp. It can also cause air pocket. From this 3D drawing, we can obviously see that the wall thickness of this component is not uniform at all. The thinnest area is even less than 0.5 mm and the thickest area is almost 12 mm. But according to our experience, the recommended wall thickness is about 1 mm to 3 mm. Let's use the wall thickness of the four bosses as the nominal wall thickness. We need to make the thin areas thicker and the thick areas thinner. Second, let's talk about bosses. Bosses can help us introduce more structural support in areas where it is needed, such as screw holes and slots. We can also provide quick assembly by creating bosses that snap into each other for alignment, similar to dual pins. To avoid shrinkage, the thickness and diameter of the balls are both very critical. We need to make sure that we design a smaller diameter for screw hole to compensate for shrinkage. And the thickness of the ball should typically be no more than 60% of the total wall thickness. Let's go back to this component. On this side, we may want to reduce the inside diameter of these four holes to leave enough wall thickness in these four places for uniform wall thickness compared to other walls. And we may want to cut some of the materials from these three places to make these four holes into four bosses. After adjusting the wall thickness and the boss diameter, there are a few details we need to work on. Shut corners are a major cost driver for injection molded parts because they require expensive EDM machining to create the mold. Shut corners also cause strength razor in the part creating a potential failure point. So rounded corners and smooth transitions are the best way to go. Shrinkage as the molten plastic cools can cause the part to stick to the mold. Jafts allow for easier part removal and drag marks are typical cosmetic defects if we don't add enough drafts to the part. Typically, 1 to 2 degree of the draft per side is acceptable. For more texture, 3 to 5 degree per side and 5 degrees or more per side for heavier texture. That's all for today. Thank you again for joining us for this video. And we hope you have learned something today. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like. See you next time. Bye-bye.